I want to talk more about this faith and this idea of as small as a mustard seed and also the kingdom of heaven. Jesus gives forth a parable saying, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds, but when it is planted and it grows and it becomes a great tree where the birds come and make their nests, they, they abide, they live in them, right? The kingdom of heaven is from within. We can, this earth can be heaven or hell. Your, your mindset can be heaven or hell, depending on what, if you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, you will see that the world is beautiful. Everything is great. And no, even all the stuff that you see going around you, it's like, you feel very terrible for them. You feel bad, but you know that you're secure. You know that you're safe. So let's talk about this faith. Watch the last video. It was a three minute version, but there, there there's more to this idea because faith can grow, right? So if you don't want to watch the last video, the idea is that many people, when, when Jesus says you need faith as small as a mustard seed, a lot of people take that to mean, oh, you just need a little bit of faith. You just need a little bit. That is not the case. That's not what he's saying. He, Jesus is saying you need all the faith. It's the exact. <sighs> Got a phone call. Or was I? Faith as small as a mustard seed does, does not mean you just need a little bit of faith. And we're going to so, show scripture to prove it and stories throughout the Bible that happened that as soon as someone lost faith or as soon as someone had faith, things were, things happened, right? But faith is small as a mustard seed. Jesus thought of the smallest seed, the smallest of all possible seeds, which can actually be planted and grow. The kingdom of heaven can grow in between all of us, just kind of like the hidden day or the Feast of Trumpets is the hidden day where they light a fire on a mountain and then the next mountain over can see it and then they light their fires and then it just spreads everywhere because all the mountains know now it's the hidden day, it's Feast of Trumpets, that's why it's a two-day festival. It's the same idea. The kingdom of heaven being from within, we are lighting each other's fires. So faith can grow, yes, but you need faith as small as a mustard seed means you cannot have any doubt. Jesus said he'd find the small, he thought it's the smallest possible grain and say you need faith as small as that. And then everyone's like, oh, I just need a little bit. No, it's not what he's saying. It's not just a little bit. He's saying you need all of it because any smaller, you'll have none. There'll be nothing to plant. You see what I'm saying? Imagine impressing Jesus Christ. And it was a Roman centurion. One of the greatest stories in the Bible, a Roman centurion um, came up to Jesus and he says, you know, hey, my son is sick. Uh, can you please heal, heal my son? And, and Jesus said, okay, let's go to him along those lines. Let's go to him. And the Roman said, no, Jesus asked him, do you want me to go to him? Because he already knew the future, right? And then he says, no, no. I, look, I'm a leader of a legion. And if I tell them to go do something, they do it. I don't have to be there. Just say the word, Jesus. I'm chills filled with the Holy Spirit. Just say the words and I believe it will be done. And Jesus goes, I have not find, found faith like this in all of Israel. Because he believed and he did not doubt. He's, he, he, he believed so much. He said, you don't even need to go there. Just say the words and it shall be done. And that very hour it was done. Amen, right? Imagine impressing Jesus Christ, by the way. So faith as small as a mustard seed doesn't mean what a lot of churches teach. And this is, this is why. I, I don't go to church anymore. I used to, and I'm, I'm looking for a good one, but this is church. Every second of my life is church. And every second of my life is my Sabbath rest in Jesus Christ. He gives us rest for our souls. And this is the kingdom of heaven. This is it. I'm living in the kingdom of heaven right now. I am living in the kingdom of heaven because it's from within. And we want all of y'all as well. And I know many other people are, you know, and where two or more are gathered, there he is in the midst. And he is the light. Of, of New Jerusalem, our mother from above. What about Peter? Peter walked on water. Go through Blue Letter Bible and type in, in, in the phrase, ye have little faith. And anytime you see ye have little faith, Jesus is not saying, uh, you only have a little bit, you, you, just, you need a little bit more. It's not what he's saying, because how much more would they need? They need all the faith, all of it. Peter took three steps on water because he locked eyes with Jesus Christ. He saw him and he had all the faith in the world, all of it. And what does the Bible say? He took three steps on the water, but then the wind and the lightning came and he got scared and he sank. He lost the little bit of faith he had. The, the pure, true faith that he had was as small as a mustard seed because it's all the faith in the world. 
If it was any smaller, he would have none. I hope I'm driving that whole, that point clear. Faith as small as a mustard seed does not mean a little bit of faith. Yes, faith can grow, of course, but but that's like the parable of the kingdom of heaven where it can grow. Faith as small as a mustard seed means all the faith in the world because any less, you'll have none. Okay, so Peter took three steps on water and he sank. And then what does Jesus say? That, that's that picture you always see of, of Peter's hand coming out of the water and Jesus' hand grabbing it. Jesus is pulling him out of the water and says, you have little faith. You have little faith. That's why he sank, you know? He had it, he had it for a second and he lost it. Because if it, look, think about it this way. If it really did mean a little bit of faith, then Peter wouldn't have sunk. He wouldn't have sunk. Because he still was there, Jesus, he still had faith, but he lost sight of 100% truth facts on Jesus Christ. He sank. He, he was more worried about the lightning and the wind. Hebrews 11.1, 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, the word of that's Jesus Christ, physical reality. First Timothy 3.16, God manifests in the flesh. In the beginning was the word, the word would with God, the word was God. All things were created through, for, and by the word. So this is why Jesus Christ is also the son of God. It's, it's physical reality, the firstborn of all creation. King David, the Bible says, King David is the, I will make you my firstborn, but he wasn't the firstborn. The, the reason why it's the firstborn is because all inheritance goes to the firstborn. And all, in all, um, Jesus has command over all earth and heaven. Framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gift and by it being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated, raptured, that he should not see death. And was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Here's what a field of mustard looks like. Here's a mustard tree. Mustard seeds. And you know, believe and do not doubt. He says, believe and do not doubt. You want to move a mountain into the sea. You believe, have all the faith and do not doubt. A mountain is something in your way and the sea is multitudes of people. So if there's something in your way, believe and do not doubt. It's going to, it's going to move, you know, and you're going to be able to help multitudes of people. Um, is he really saying you can just whoosh, believe and move a mountain into the sea? Hey, maybe, you know, he, he, he cursed and he withered a fig tree and he says, we can do that as well with faith. Remember the Samaritan woman or the Gentile woman who came up to him and said, sir, sir, heal, heal my daughter or my son. I forget. He's sick. He's sick, right? He's like, Jesus came. I come not but the lost sheep of Israel. And she, she says something about, you know, even the dogs get the scraps that are on the floor. Right? And Jesus is saying, you know, you have good faith. You have good faith and allowed the the healing healed didn't allow the healing healed right because she she made up such a good point about faith what about the woman who just reached out and grabbed his garment and was healed she knew in her heart that if she could only just touch his garment she would be healed it, if she had any doubt she wouldn't have been healed that's what i meant by the last video like if you don't have it won't happen it won't work if you don't have full faith like if you'd be like, huh, let me see what happens. I'm going to reach out and touch it. And let's see if it works. It won't work. It won't. But if you know, like you'll, you push through people, but nicely, you know, you'll get there. You go through everyone and just to touch his garment because you know that will heal you. It will heal you. This is the message being taught with faith is as small as a mustard seed and the kingdom of heaven likened unto a mustard seed grows right? Because faith can grow and our faith, the, the kingdom is from within and we can light each other's fires and the kingdom of heaven can grow and we can make this the spot. You know what I mean? But you know, the devil's a God of this world and it, it, time's almost up and 
you know, that's why we're trying so hard to, to help you all and share these messages and share love because we, 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 we care for you. We care for you. We don't do this because, because why? We want views and videos and, and we don't, we, this, this earth is going to perish. We don't store our treasures in heaven where moth and rust can get it. Ours are in heaven. And we, 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 this is not throwing pearls before swine. Y'all are not swine. 